deeply committed to both countries. The selection committee had to sort through 40,000 entries before arriving at their final choice, the 870 exhibits which comprise the Sunday Mirror's exhibition of children's art. Giraffes going to the zoo, as seen by four-year-old Nicholas Minter of Hampshire. Twelve children from Great Yarmouth combined their inspiration to create a cat. Anthony Smith of Ilford, who modelled this cyclist, is 15. Alistair Welsh of Norfolk, a six-year-old with his eye on space. But 17-year-old Peter Goddard of Ilkeston, Derbyshire, has his eye on something nearer home. He's just won the top award for young artists, a training grant worth 300 pounds. Surprisingly, when he recently tried a GCE A-level exam in art, he failed. Perhaps the examiners didn't like abstracts. Perhaps they prefer something more representational, like this six-year-old's impression of an elephant. Or Two Rockers by a fellow teenager, 14-year-old Michael Player. 16-year-old Timothy Lee of Hatfield painted this one. One of many works of art depicting the family. This next one is by the youngest artist in the show, three-year-old Charlotte Wess. It's called Mummy, Daddy, Tim and Me. Finally, something that should give inspiration to all young artists, 35 tonnes of old locomotive saved from the scrapyard by a Berlin businessman and installed in one of the city's playgrounds. Apart from the removal of some of the more dangerous projections, the engine's much the same as she used to be during her half-century of rolling along the rails of Europe. But then, some people are never satisfied. In Italy, 